Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video of quadrilaterals, we shall be taking two questions based on rhombus and rectangle. So the first question is based on rhombus and the second question is based on rectangle. Now let's start with the first question. The diagonals of a rhombus are in the ratio of 5 is to 12. If its perimeter is 104 centimeter, find the length of the sides and the diagonals. So given to us ABCD is a rhombus. Let us say the diagonals AC is to BD is 5 is to 12 and perimeter is given to us 104 centimeter. We have to find the length of all the sides and also the length of the diagonals. Now let's start with the solution. Perimeter is 104 centimeter and we know that perimeter is sum of all the sides and in rhombus all sides are equal. So we can say 4 times of A is equal to 104. Now further A is 104 upon 4 that is 26. So A that is each side of the rhombus is 26 centimeter. So we can say therefore AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA is equal to 26 centimeter. So all sides of rhombus are equal. Now let us further calculate the length of the diagonals. For that, let us assume AC to be 5x and BD to be 12x. Now, diagonals in the rhombus bisect each other. That means they divide each other into equal parts. So, we can say AO is equal to OC, that is half of AC. So, we can say 5x by 2 and BO is equal to OD, that is half of BD is equal to 12x by 2, that is 6x. Now, diagonals in the rhombus bisect each other at right angles. So they actually form four right angle triangles. So in right angle triangle AOB we can apply the Pythagoras theorem which says that perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square and in right angle triangle AOB the side is the hypotenuse which is opposite to right angle triangle that is AB is the hypotenuse. So accordingly we can write AO square plus BO square is equal to AB square. Further we shall put the values. So 5x by 2 whole square plus 6x whole square is equal to 26 whole square. Now further we shall simplify. 25x square upon 4 plus 36x square is equal to 676. Now we shall take LCM. 25x square plus 144x square upon 4 is equal to 676. 25 plus 144 is 169. So 169x square upon 4 is equal to 676. Further let us cross multiply. So x square is equal to 676 into 4 upon 169 which is equal to 16. So x square is equal to 16. So x is root of 16 that is 4. Now diagonals are 5x and 12x. So 5 into 4 is 20 cm and 12 into 4 is 48 cm. So length of this rhombus was 26 cm and diagonals have come 20 cm and 48 cm. Now let us take the second question. A pair of adjacent sides of a rectangle are in the ratio of 3 is to 4. If its diagonal is 20 cm, find the length of the sides and hence the perimeter of the rectangle. So given to us ABCD is a rectangle in which the two adjacent sides let's say AD is to AB is 3 is to 4. BD is given 20 centimeter that is our diagonal. We have to find the length of all the sides and perimeter. Now let's start with the solution. Since ABCD is a rectangle and angle A is equal to 90 degree we can say that triangle DAB is a right angle triangle. So in right angle triangle DAB, we shall apply Pythagoras theorem which says that perpendicular square plus base square is equal to hypotenuse square. And in right angle triangle DAB, the BD that is the diagonal of the rectangle serves as the hypotenuse. Further, we can assume AD to be perpendicular and AB to be base. So we shall write AD square plus AB square is equal to BD square by Pythagoras theorem. Now let's say AD is 3x and AB is 4x. BD is given 20 cm. So we shall write accordingly 3x whole square plus 4x whole square is equal to 20 whole square. 
Further, 9x square plus 16x square is equal to 400. Further, 25x square is equal to 400. And x square is 400 by 25, that is 16. So, x is equal to root of 16, which is equal to 4. Now, in the rectangle, we know that the opposite sides are equal. So, AD is equal to BC, that is 3x. So, 3 into 4, 12 centimeter. And AB is equal to CD, that is 4x which is 4 into 4, 16 centimeter. So we have calculated the length and the breadth of the rectangle that has come 16 centimeter and 12 centimeter respectively. Now we shall find the perimeter that is twice length plus breadth. So 2 times of 16 plus 12 that is 2 times of 28 which is equal to 56 centimeter. So perimeter has come 56 centimeter. So this is it. Hope you have understood both these questions. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day ahead.